In every struggle, heroes are born. We have become Superman, Wonder Woman in special ways. This school year is a no joke for everyone. We had all our hard time together. Life is about growing. We grow each day we live. And one of the best implications of growth is happening today. Graduation is a great manifestation of how capable we all are of accomplishing our goals when we commit ourselves to it. It is the best gift we can offer to our loved ones when we believe that we can make it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 95th closing program. Having this virtual graduation day proves that for every hardship comes success. Success comes to every individual who found every bit of resources to reach the stars above. Ladies and gentlemen, the processional.
graduation have fully satisfied the requirements of the K-12 basic education program prescribed by the Department of Education. May I therefore request our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent to confirm the candidates. By virtue of the appointment given to me by the President of the Republic of the Philippines, as the Schools Division Superintendent of SDO Cagayan and upon certification of your school head that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the basic education curriculum for this school year 2020-2021 I now accept and confirm you graduates. Congratulations to our most unique batch of learners for the school year 2020-2021. To our graduates, completers and honor students who will reap the fruits of sacrifices they have invested in this most challenging and most memorable school year, let this significant milestone of your lives be recorded as great achievement to be shared by your beloved parents who work closely with you this school year. Appreciation is also accorded to our administrators, teachers, personnel, internal and external stakeholders, and to the whole staff who work together to ensure your success. We also thank the Department of Education for insisting that education must continue in this brave new world. Thank you, Madam Secretary, Honorable Yonor Magtolis Briones, for the said battle cry. The theme of this end of school year writes, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic is very much fitting because you are the first batch to complete this school year as a brave group of learners during this school year. The future will always have a place for people who prepared themselves today 
and forge ahead with purpose and great intent to grow and serve. In diversity and adversity, we can find opportunities to reach out and build bridges of hope. In difficulty, the chance to be altruistic. And in challenges, reasons to learn and rise to the situation. Our country needs graduates and learners who will commit to uphold and enhance the best of what it has to offer as young citizens who are as patriotic as they are competent, skilled, and innovative. As we move closer to your aspirations for others and to do more, not only for yourselves, but also for your fellow Filipinos, continue to be connected with our divine providence. Again, congratulations to you, our dear graduates and completers. We wish all the best in your future endeavors. God bless, stay safe, stay healthy, mabuhay!
So let's continue pushing our bottom set sail in every step of the way in all aspects of our life. Graduating today is not an end, but a ladder to harder journeys. Let us not make this pandemic as an excuse to put things on hold and stop dreaming. It is high time for us to explore more and learn more through this digital world. Let us maximize the use of our gadgets at home and not use them only for our gaming sessions. Marami pa ang pagsubok ang dadaan sa atin at hindi ang COVID-19 ang magpapatingan sa ating puso na mangarap na maging isang marangal na mamamayan ng Pilipinas. Mas lalo pa natin sanang paitingin ang, ang ating adhikain tungo sa maliwanag na tinabukasa. Salamat sa bawat nanay, tatay, ate, kuya, tito, tita o sino man na nagsilbing guro sa bawat tahanan sa tuwing sasagot kami ng modules. Alam namin na maging kayo ay diak din. Sa bawat classmate na nagpasaya sa araw-araw na pagkikipagkalastasan, ang iba naging matalik na kaibigan. Maraming salamat sa aling na taong alakakan sa sulong ng ating silid aralan. Sa lahat ng aming guro at sa aming punong guro na lubos na nagsakripisyo, kayo po ay tunay namin mga bayani. Sa mga barangay officials, na sumuporta sa bawat hakbang ng aming mahal na paaralan, mabuhay po kayo. Special na pasasalamat ang aking iginagawa sa aking pamilya, kinalolo, lola, nanay, tita, tito, aling at higit sa lahat sa aking mga magulang na tunay na nagsapribisyo upang mapagsalita ako ngayon sa araw na aming pagtatapos. Ma! Pa! Maraming salamat. Lubos ang pagkasalamat ko sa poong may kapal. Sa pagkakaloob sa lahat ng mga tao ating nabanggit upang maging kapatipakinabang ang aking buhay mag-aaral. Sa lahat ng ito, mabuhay ang mga bayani itong pandemya. Mabuhay, Batch 2021! Good morning, everyone. As President Calvin Coolidge once said, no one is compelled to choose the profession of a police officer, but having chosen it, everyone is obliged to live up to the standards of its requirements. This simple yet meaningful quote describes how this honorable man lived up to his calling. The man who believes the principle, never stop learning and working for yourself. He was born on November 6, 1979 at Andaraya South Solana, Cagayan. He is the eldest among the three siblings of Mr. Ernesto Quilambalisi and Mrs. Novina Masirag Bukel, both originated from this place. He enrolled and finished his grade school in this school in 1992 and graduated in 1996 at Andorian High School for his secondary education. Because of his perseverance to achieve his dream of becoming a policeman, he enrolled at the University of Cagayan Valley in 2000 with a degree, Bachelor of Science in Criminology, and eventually passed the Criminology Board examination in September of the same year. He entered Philippine National Police in May 2002 and was assigned in Batanes Police Provincial Office as police officer. His desire for professional growth motivated him to underwent trainings such as Public Safety Basic Recruit Course in 2003 at Kauaian City and awarded as top two and Police Intelligence Course at Baguio City as top four. Furthermore, with his enthusiasm for educational strengthening, he took his 
schooling in intelligence course from 2006 and officer's basic course in 2009. Having guns as professional growth, he was promoted as police captain in December 2011 and continuously served as the chief of police in municipality of Basco and stayed connected in Batanes Police Provincial Office until 2013. After which, he was transferred to Quezon, Isabela in 2014 to 2016, Magdela Quirino in November 2016 to April 2017. Thereafter, he became Human Resource and Doctrine Development Officer, Police Regional Office 2 on November 2017 to June 2018 and finally came home to serve his fellow Solanians as the Chief of Police Municipality of Solana from March 2019 to January 7, 2021. During this time, his outstanding accomplishment made Solana the best police station during the 25th Police Community Relations Month nationwide and best police station implementer for community service-oriented policy on his project policy, Kabataan Gabayan Lava sa Droga, Crime at Terrorismo Isa Tukara, and awarded by National Police Commission of the same year. With his remark remarkable achievements, he was transferred to the municipality of Gonzaga from January 8, 2021 to present. His employment experiences made every Salonian prouder of him after noting the different accomplishments and awards he received from his excellent and unwavering services. To name a few, he received 41 Medallia ng Papuri, 25 Medallia ng Kasanayan, at 5 Medallia ng Kagalina. Who is he may not be surprised. After all, he had become the person he is now because of his virtues, values, and pioneering spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, graduates of Batch 2021, Please join me in giving a resounding applause to the living idiot of a man who happened to be born at the right time and at the right place, coupled with impressive background and a devoted public servant, our guest of honor, Chief of Police Gonzaga, Police Captain Junjun Bukel Balisi. District Supervisor of Salana North District, Mamuna Lisa F. Sambale, PhD. Principal of Andrayan Elementary School, Ma'am Juliet Biakopuyan, Principal 1. Teachers, Barangay Officials of Andrayan South, headed by Honorable Barangay Captain Maribig Sinampan, and Barangay North, headed by Barangay Captain Honorable Adriano Baldiray. PTA officers, SGC officers, parents, graduates, good day o makastanga gawagawayan nitang namin. Today's graduation team is strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Or kalidad ng edukasyon lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemia. I was supposed to be your guest speaker in the actual graduation last year. But due to the current situation COVID-19 pandemic, it was postponed because the community quarantine is started at our own time. When you are to experience the traditional graduation rites. Ito ay nagbigay ng matinding pagsubok sa ating lahat, nasubok ang ating katatagan bilang tao. Parang kahapon lang, Nung ako ay tulad nyo din na nagtapos sa araw na ito ng elementarya. Napakasaya ng pakiramdam na high school na ang susunod. 
Noong mga mga panahon na yon ay ang dami ng ang dami kong pangarap. Madami akong gustong gawin sa buhay. Para bang gusto kong madaliin ang panahon? Gusto ko malaman nyo na huwag mamadaliin ang mga bagay-bagay sa inyong buhay. Namnamin ang bawat sandali ng pagiging bata. Pagiging mag-aaral kasi di ba sabi nga nila eh YOLO. YOLO means you only live once. Namnamin na makasama ang iyong mga, ma- mga mahal sa buhay, magulang o kapatid. Set your dreams so this would give you the motivation. To pursue it and you do good in your study. Make sure that when you do things or something, ay ito yung best mo na. Dahil may mga bagay na hindi na natin kailanman maulit gawin o maulit pagdaanan. Paging ehemplo sa ibang kapamilya, kaibigan, kamag-aral o sa komunidad. Simpleng bagay yun pero magandang panimula sa pagtulong sa pag-unlad ng ating bayan. Ang elementarya ang pundasyon ng ating pag-aaral. Dito tayo nag-uumpisang magkamulat sa mga bagay-bagay sa ating paligid. Dito tayo tinuturuan ng ating mga magulang sa mga pangaral at paano makitungo sa kapwa. As you spread your wings after today's graduation, be mindful and careful of the things happening around you. These are the times that curiosity begins to come into your mind. You start building your silk of all friends too. Just always remember that make friends that would want the best in you and not bringing out the worst in you or getting you into trouble. Being part of a group of friends doesn't necessarily mean that you will follow what they have you say or say to do. You have a mind of your own. So be independent when you make decisions. If you are unsure, then ask your parents or your teachers. If you are aware of the current events or the news, which I am sure because of the social media, there are a lot of crime committed by minors or minors to adult or even by other minors themselves. You have to be very vigilant about your safety and your security. Be careful on who you meet online as they might just exploit you. Don't trust sugary words. Most of these are lies that would lead you in committing unlawful acts. Always think twice whether uh, something will do good for you or it will not. Huwag masamain kung kayo ay pinagbabawalan ng iyong mga magulang, guardian o guro. Sa, sa ibang bagay na gusto niyong gawin, dahil as you grow older, you would appreciate that everything they did is just for your own sake. Malakas, uh, 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 rather uh, madalas kasi sa ganitong edad, nagiging mapuso at agresibo tayo. Gusto natin laging libre sa lahat ng nais natin gawin. Pero sa huli, nasa ikabubuti natin ang unang prioridad ng ating mga magulang. Walang magulang ang nagahangad ng masama sana. Pero kung meron man, agad ipagbigay alam sa mga otoridad o sa pulis upang ang karapatan bilang bata ay maproteksyonan. Huwag kayong mahiyang magsumbong kung kayo ay naabuso. Always speak your mind. Ngayong araw ng inyong pagtatapos. Fly high with your dreams. Take all the time you need to enjoy your youth. But be always guided by your loved ones. Set your priorities. Be able to achieve your, achieve your goals. Libre ang mga rin. Kung matisod man kayo, ay pagpagin ang problema. Tapikin ang iyong balikat at sabihin sa sarili na okay lang yan. Kayang-kaya ko ito. 
Happy graduation sa ating lahat. At muli, magandang harap. Mga kapwa po nagsipat tapos, itaas ang ating tanang kamay at sabay-sabay natin bigkasi ang panunupan ng katapatan. Dahil sa matibay na pananalig sa Diyos, sa paraan ng pamumuhay at simula ang pinaghirapan ng ating matatapat at matatapang matinuno, kami nagpapasya bilang pagtanaw ng utang na loob sa aming inang paaralan, ang mababang paaralan ng Andrayan. Naiaalay ang aming dinito ang panahon, ang aming pagsisikap at mga kasiglahan sa kapakanan ng lupang ating tinubuan, ang bansang Pilipinas. Pinagpapasyahan din namin na aming itatalaga ang lakas ng buhay nila sa aming mga ugat ang kalinisan ng kaisipan na sa aming mga budhi at ang apoy ng pagmamahal na nag-aalag sa aming mga puso para sa kaundaran, sa kalayaan at sa kaligiyahan ng ating mga mamamayang Pilipino. Tulungan nga ako kami, mahal na Panginoon. Back on times we had I hope you smile And know that through the good And through the bad I was on your side When nobody could hold us down We claimed the brightest star And we, we came so far And no See